Hello South Africa. We've got all the latest news stories and headlines in South Africa you really need to know on Friday, December 24, 2021. Now let's take a good look at the top 5 stories that have made headlines for today. Len Cloet strong enough for rehabilitation. Len Cloet, the father of seven who was shot in the head by a police officer during an altercation at a Mulder's Drift Lodge, is strong enough to be moved to a rehabilitation center. Len was shot in the head by a police officer in front of his wife and friends earlier this month. In a video of the incident that has gone viral on social media, a naked Len is seen shouting at the police. He takes a firearm out of the bed drawer and cocks it while swinging it around in front of the police officers. Len is then seen grabbing a firearm for a police officer. Another police officer at the scene fires a single shot and hits Chloe in the head. He falls to the ground. According to his wife, Chantel, he underwent a skull replacement operation on Monday. Chantel added that doctors could not yet determine the full extent of the damage to his brain and body. Lodi Motsoning, the court should applaud me, not rule against me. Nobody pats themselves on the back more than Lodi Motsoning. The former SAC COO has slammed a recent court judgment which ordered him to return more than 11 million he had received from the public broadcaster. Motsoning reckons that should instead be lauded for his work at the SABC and not punished. The High Court in Johannesburg ruled in favor of the Special Investigating Unit, the SIU, and declared that the millions which Lodi had received from the SABC as a success fee were unlawfully rewarded to him. The SABC board approved the monies because of his role in brokering a deal with MultiChoice for broadcast rights, including access to the SABC archives. In an interview with SABC News on Wednesday morning, December 23, he says he should be lauded for his managing to clinch the deal. Actually the court was supposed to say, well done Lodi. This will encourage other people to go and think outside the box so that they can raise funds and partner with the private sector to make sure that all the SOEs are okay financially. But in this case, they are saying executives must go and get bailouts from government. Former SABC Chief Operations Officer, COO, Lodi Motsoning. Rainy Christmas weekend expected for large parts of the country. South Africans can brace themselves for a rainy Christmas weekend, the SA Weather Services, SOS, warned. According to SOS forecaster Kamsa Masizona, the wet weather that blanketed provinces on Thursday morning will persist and cause disruptive rainfall in some holiday spots. We are expecting a yellow level 2 warning for disruptive rain, which is expected for the eastern parts of the Eastern Cape and in some places in KwaZulu-Natal. This will result in the flooding of roads, settlements and low-lying areas, and also some traffic disruptions as well as danger to livestock and livelihoods, she said. Sopra approves Johnson & Johnson booster shot. The South African Health Products Regulatory Authority, SOPRA, has finally approved the administering of the Johnson & Johnson booster shot. It was only at the start of December that SOPRA announced it was giving the nod for a third shot of the Pfizer vaccine. The Pfizer vaccine is administered in two shots, the booster is now given to people who are older than 18 and at least six months after the second dose has been received. The J&J and Pfizer vaccines are currently the ones being administered under South Africa's rollout. In light of the emergence of the Omicron variant, the government is now under immense pressure to ramp up its vaccination drive, with just over 35.6% of the country's adult population being fully vaccinated. TV presenter Angie Dial dies at age 55. One of South African television's beloved TV counselors, Angie Dial, has died at the age of 55. Details surrounding Dial's passing remain unclear at this stage, but it has been reported that she succumbed to complications related to pneumonia. Well-known entertainment journalist Film Fila broke the news on Twitter. Dial is known for her work as an agony aunt and most notably, host of the Mzansi Magic program Please Step In. South Africans first got to know and love Angie Dial with the hit SABC One Show Relate, where people from all walks of life would write to her about a range of problems, from dealing with drugs to teenage pregnancy. She was also considered an advocate for those living with HIV AIDS, having done work in communities to help get rid of the stigma. Dial, who herself was HIV positive, has been open about living with the virus. She contracted HIV shortly after the birth of her son. This is Leah for the South African.